everybody. Welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today we're at Disneyland to celebrate Valentine's Day. We're going to try all the Valentine's Day treats, eat some food, see some merch, have some fun. Come with us on this adventure. And most importantly, be sweethearts on Valentine's Day. First up, we're going to Tomorrowland. There's some exciting new foods at Galactic Grill. This is the Galactic Sunrise Slush, and it is strawberry limeade with a mix of sliced strawberries and strawberry puree. And it comes with the light up glow cube, but it's so bright out today that like you can't even see. <laughs> this is an expensive little slush. I think it was like $11.50, but it is like 90 degrees here today in February at Disneyland, and it's already melting. I cannot wait to try this. It is like nice and cold. Mm. This just tastes like a frozen strawberry lemonade. You could definitely taste the strawberries. They're real. It doesn't taste artificial. And I love that. This is so refreshing. Mm. I wish they would keep this on the menu like all year. I would totally get it over and over again. I Five wish they would sell drinks that have glow cubes without glow cubes, without the yeah, glow cube premium like, price. Who really wants to spend $11 on a freaking slushie? Yeah. Like, that's a little bit insane, I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to pretend that it's not insane. But this is really delicious, and it gets a 5 out of 5 for sure. Yeah. I'm sure at night, with the glow cube, mm -hmm. it looks pretty cool. We were impatient. We were thirsty now. Like I said, it's hot out. <laughs> but the real reason we came to the Galactic Grill was for this new spicy Nash chicken sandwich. This is fried breaded chicken breast smothered in house-made Nashville hot inspired sauce with bread and butter pickle chips and mayo on a toasted bun with your choice of Greek yogurt or french fries. We got the french fries. I gotta admit, Galactic Grill is not our favorite eatery in Disneyland. It's probably on low on the list. It's usually more akin to like McDonald's, but not even good McDonald's, right? Look at this thing. It doesn't look pretty. I mean, I'm so hungry that I have a feeling it's going to be good. As you know, I am a connoisseur of spicy chicken sandwiches. That's surprising. Is that actually spicy? So it's supposed to be like a Nashville hot chicken, right? You know, at first it isn't, but the spice kind of hits you at the end. I will say that the Nashville hot chicken that I've had in the past has been kind of more like a spice than a sauce. Here's the sauce, so I'm not sure if this actually qualifies as Nashville hot chicken. On a spice meter, I'd give us like a 6 or 7 out of 10. It does have a, a kick to it, but this is a lot better than it looks. I think I would give this a four out of five Peters. Four and a half out of five Peters. I'm gonna give it four and a half out of five Peters. That's crazy because this is not looking. <laughs> Rule number 15 of Disneyland is you can't go in Tomorrowland without stepping foot in Star Trader to see if there's any new Star Wars merchandise. So that's what we're going to do right now. I have never wanted a shirt more than this one. I saw photos of it and I was like, it's so us. <laughs> First of all, it's tie-dye, but then I just can't. Like, do I need it or what? You need it. 
It's a vibe. <laughs> they have new Han and Leia, I love you, I know shirts. They're like metallic. Eh, not for us. Oh my God, this is another one. Yeah, this shirt is so cute. We thought it was for kids, but I don't think it is, Peter, look. Things that tried to eat Luke Skywalker. So we got the Rancor, <laughs> we got the Dianoga. <laughs> look at the Ewok. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. It's for adults. So are you buying this both is, shirts? This is another thing we saw online and we were sad because we thought it was just for kids. I mean, which one's better? I think both of them are awesome. It's a tough choice. I gotta say, yeah, even like this shirt, the bad guys one, good guys zero. I know. It's got salacious. Yeah, oh, it's yeah, Han and Carbonite. I it's like, like the best shirt ever. I think it was our friend Kevin that pointed this one out. So this t-shirt has Darth Vader with a Death Star balloon and it says kid at heart, which seems so misguided because Darth Vader slaughtered a bunch of kids. I don't know how this somehow turned into a Star Wars video, but you know us. I found this new lounge fly bag and it's very simple, but what I love about it is like this iridescent pattern on there. It's so fun. I like kind of love it a lot. <laughs> Gotta do the gut check. What do we think? Any predictions? I don't know. Oh my, wow. Nothing? It's just black. I mean, is it even Valentine's Day if Star Wars isn't involved? I don't think so. <laughs> for us, it's not. I mean, I bought myself two shirts for Valentine's Day, so, you know, you gotta just treat yourself sometimes. I'm right next door at the pretzel cart in Tomorrowland, we got the sour cherry pretzel. This is a cream cheese filled pretzel with some sour cherry sugar on top. As you know, I am a connoisseur of cream cheese filled pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You always seem to get them. I think that's the first time I've made the claim of that one. Yeah, though, it is. But... It, it, okay, it's here about we go. Time. I will say that again, we've seen pictures of this online. Usually looks a little bit better than this. Yeah, it's just a hot day. Things are melting. It's fine. Cast Not everything can be picture perfect. <laughs> I feel bad for the cast members who are like stuck out in the sun. So it's fine. It's totally fine. Oh my god. There's this candy that I used to love called Lemon Heads, and they have one that's like ch cherry heads or something like oh, that. Oh, is that what it tastes like? It kind of tastes like a like that. It's like a very candied version of cherry. I mean, it is just your cream cheese pretzel taken off the rack, sprayed with something, and then dipped into the, the sour sh uh, cherry sugar. But that sour cherry sugar is delightful. I'll give this a, a four out of five Peters. Wow. Highly recommend when you're here for Valentine's Day. This is good. I used to like hate the cream cheese pretzels. And the more I try them, the more I like them. This would get a five out of five for me. You know what I thought would be really romantic? You know, since this is a Valentine's Day inspired video. What? We should go on the storybook canal boat rides. What do you say? Let's do it. I can't think of anything more romantic. <laughs> I can. Blue by you, but you try getting reservations for that. <laughs> Especially around Valentine's Day. Not gonna happen. Do you know what the most romantic part is of this whole ride? What? When we go into Monstro's mouth. Take your time. You can do it. Yeah. You can do it. Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Gina. I'll be your captain and storyteller here today aboard the bottom.
love that ride. We don't go on that ride nearly enough. I know. It's, it's so like, cute. It's so charming. It is. I really... I my, feel like that ride would never be made today. No. But my favorite part usually is when there's like the ducks that are just living. <laughs> like they look like giants in the land. There wasn't yeah. any ducks this time, unfortunately. <laughs> it's kind of like the gigantic birds on Catalina. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Man, how, what would you give to like be able to be in that water right now? So I mean, the hot. water doesn't look that clean. Yeah, but the ducks love it. They love it in there. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's like against the rules, but like if I can jump in right now. Just kidding, don't jump in. <laughs> Over at the Red Rose Tavern, there's the heart-shaped shortbread cookie. It has red jelly, white chocolate, and heart sprinkles, and a little white chocolate mini bow right on top. This was too cute to pass up. If you guys remember, we came around Halloween time and they had that wreath cookie. It had like, I think it had that same sort of jelly in the middle and I remember like loving it. This is like double decker. There's two cookies stacked on each other. And I don't know, I just, I couldn't pass it up. I'm a sucker for a, a cute cookie. <laughs> mm. Oh. Mm. oh, Bob. <laughs> okay, so you remember those shortbread cookies that were like round and they almost have like a thumbprint with like the jelly on top? This tastes exactly like that. I think this is even better than that reef cookie because that one like had a, a mint flavored as well. This one is just pure white chocolate, strawberry, and shortbread. But you gotta eat it quick because I could already tell that this. This mini bow is already melting and I'm having flashbacks to when everything melted. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> this is what happens. I'm going to go ahead and say this gets the Ordinary Adventure star. So five kitchen? Five out of five. Five out of five out of five out of a million out of a million. <laughs> you broke my heart. That's so sad. <laughs> That's so depressing. Is that a bad sign? No, it, it's fine. T it tastes good. I literally broke the heart. <laughs> Whatever, it still tastes good. I mean, technically, you're the one that bought it, so you broke your own heart, so... Fine, I'll eat it. <laughs> Do you have any plans for the day of love tomorrow? I like this. Just push it under the rug like Snow White does with all the dead in the Yeah. I decided I found my true love already. It's myself. I'll be spending all day staring at myself in the mirror. <laughs> the best way anyone should celebrate the day. Because I've noticed you can't truly love anyone else until you love yourself first. So we're going to focus on that first. I mean, she's not wrong. She's not. I wanted to tell her, like, I know that she loves hearts. She's like a fan of hearts. Yeah. Like, don't you think she would love this cookie? I mean, it doesn't t it, it doesn't have an apple taste to it. It's all. I mean, it's apple. Well, I know that you're a fan of hearts, right? Don't yes. you have a thing for. It's a heart shaped cookie. I sometimes kind of eat it. But and it does look as though it's spitting right down it, the It did. <laughs> so I don't, know I don't know if that's a bad sign or. But yeah. I thought of you. I was like, you need to know. It's pretty good. Yes. And red, because we only use the red apples. You do know why. Why? The green ones tend to be far too sour. That is very Quite true. I like Snow White to this That is very true. Do, do you like the candy apples? Like they have like a Be Mine candy apple over at the candy? It is rather nice to dip an apple in any potion, I think. Okay. As long as it's the right one. <laughs> that is very true. Well, you have yourself a wonderful Valentine's Day in front of the mirror. I will, staring at the truest form of love. <laughs> 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 so great to see you. From the Golden Horseshoe, they have a strawberry ice cream float. This is strawberry ice cream and Sprite. I've had many floats in my days. Oh, and whipped cream on top. I've had many floats in my days, but I've never had a float with Sprite. Sounds good. I mean, I love Sprite. Sounds like a good idea. Look at that. There's like little pieces of strawberry in there. It's very subtle on the strawberry. It's more on the Sprite. It's refreshing on a hot day. I'd give us a three and a half out of five Peters. Nice. Yeah, it's a solid choice. What are you getting in the... What do you think? I 
Okay, bye. Say, last night I had a really strange dream. <laughs> last night I had a really strange dream. I dreamt I was swimming in an orange ocean. I dreamt that I was swimming in an orange ocean. But when I woke up, it was just a Fanta. <laughs> but when I woke up, it was just a Fanta. See, we're here again with our friend Chris. Oh my God, I can't breathe. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I didn't mean to catch you off guard. I just wanted to have some more fun with you guys. We're having a float. I thought that seemed like an appropriate uh, story to tell. Have you ever had a Fanta float? No. Yeah. You haven't? Good. I don't think no, so. No, I haven't either. Are you serious? No. They, oh, the, the, the grape Fanta with a vanilla ice cream or the Ooh. pineapple. Where's that at? Well, in your kitchen. You just oh. have to make it yourself. <laughs> I but like, I gave it five What Peters. Disneyland <laughs> restaurant? I mean, we don't have that here. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Love this guy. Thank you. Well, you me and you and what? Hey, hey, when you drink all the float, you don't save me any? I'm, I'm sorry that I drank all the float. I, Are you sorry? Out. Yes, I am. <laughs> and just like that, we have time traveled an hour into the future, and we did that by talking to Chris Provost. <laughs> because it's you have fun while talking to friends here at Disneyland. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment that you have all been waiting for, it is time for the Churro Valentine's Day Epic Smackdown Showdown. That is right, the Churro Valentine's Day Epic Smackdown Showdown, Ordinary Adventure Style. First up in the ring, we have the Strawberry Churro. You can find it right by Haunted Mansion. This is just a regular churro dipped in a strawberry sugar. Did you snort with your nose? Because <laughs> somebody like, recognized us and they were just like staring at me and I got scared. Okay, let's try it. <laughs> it's like sour. I know it's not like a sour strawberry, but it's very tart. So this is actually pretty subtle. It really just tastes like a normal churro with sugar, but I don't think there's any cinnamon on there. I think it's just the sugar and then the strawberry sugar. So it's very sugary. Uh, just like a very, very small hint of strawberry. I'm honestly kind of disappointed. I was expecting an epic Valentine's Day Smackdown showdown. And this was contender number one. And I gotta say, I, I'm not that impressed. And coming in as contender number two, we have the hot cinnamon candy churro. You can find this right by Sleeping Beauty's Castle. Bonus, this also comes with a hot cinnamon candy marshmallow dipping sauce. Which I gotta admit, to... both of these churros do not look like, like Insta usually like they look Instagram worthy, and this one looks like it's like a cup of Pe Pepto Bismol. <laughs> Which is what I'm gonna be drinking later tonight, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but I will say off the bat, this one smells and I think looks a little bit better than the other one. Yeah. I'm a fan of like cinnamon candy, so I have a feeling that this might be right up my alley. Is this Pepto-Bismol or is this marshmallow sauce? You will never, oh, look at all this, it all came off. Oh. <laughs> Ew, it does look kind of gross. Yeah, that's, the, that's what you want right there. That's the shot right there. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what you want right there. That's the shot right there. <laughs> this was all worth it. My life choices today all led up to this moment. I mean, that's technically true. <laughs> yeah. Wow, weird. The more I think about it, the more I'm like, is this Pepto-Bismol? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> this is really good. I wanna say like, if you love cinnamon red hot candy, you're definitely gonna love this. And that, this is the clear winner for me. This probably gets like a, I'm gonna give it like a four out of five. But I feel like you need the Pepto Bismo. The Biz Bismol? God, what is it called? Bismo or Bismol? Bismol. Yeah, you need the Pepto Bismol. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying that weird. Because you're gonna be hurting after this epic Valentine's Day would, would you actually, SmackDown showdown. Would you actually recommend that cup the, the the dipping? No, I don't think it's needed. Yeah. Honestly. This was a dollar extra. And I think I'm just tripping myself out because I'm like, I don't know, it's weirding me out because I think it's Pepto, so. Skip that, just get the churro. Do you think that Gaston needs some Pepto? Because he does eat a lot of eggs. 
What's your favorite book, Gaston? Books Do about me, of course. Oh, of course. And all my heroic adventures. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. You know, I know you eat a lot of eggs. Indeed. I, I brought you some Pepto. But... What is that? <laughs> Did you get that from, is that magic? Yeah. Oh. It, it cures an upset stomach. Did you get that I from Aurora? <laughs> she likes pink things. Oh, yeah, she does. You're right. I oh, know, I just thought of you when I got this. Gotcha. <laughs> we don't have that in my village. Oh, you don't? Maybe you'll have to bring it to France sometime. Okay. We'll see how we like it over there. Do you have any favorite churros? What? Do you know what a churro is? No, or the egg stuff? Is it egg stuff? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm... Actually, no, I think they do, you do make that with eggs. I don't know what it's made out of, to be honest with you. Now, this is what I was thinking. I, you know, the wedding of for us is June 35th. And when I talked to uh, Princess Tiana, she said she's going to bring beignets. I, should, I said she should stuff those with eggs. Okay. So the big debate is chocolate stuffed beignets or egg stuffed beignets. I mean, I think we both know the eggs. Taste wait, wait, does, does Belle know about this wedding? Of course, she's the one who chose the date. She said it was the perfect day for a wedding. June 31st. 35th? 35th. 35th. I said, sounds great to me. I have the food writing down. It's going to be a lovely, a lovely ceremony. You're invited. Thank you so much. Yes, we'll need tons of this, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any Valentine's Day plans? Yes. Lisa's going to take me on a stroll through the village. Like Belle. going to take me back to the library. That sounds like a lovely time. We just heard that you're getting married to Gaston on June 35th. Is that what you said? Yeah. <laughs> you chose the date, remember? <laughs> <laughs> but you are the next person. Enough to cover your entire oh. yard. And <laughs> That's terrifying. Look at that. Look at. Oh my god, how cute is this balloon? I didn't even realize that on that side it, it was like that. I only saw this side. Oh my god, I want that balloon so bad. I've never bought a balloon before and I'm like so tempted. Look how cute it is. It even says cute. <laughs> That is the cutest. <laughs> the thing that I've been most excited about today is that Tropical Hideaway. They have a Dole Whip that is a watermelon and cherry swirl. Has some sprinkles on top. Has a gummy of a, a butterfly. It looks beautiful. But also, I love watermelon. I love cherry. And that mixture sounds amazing. Oh my god. This might be one of the best things I've had at Disney in a while. The mixture of that sour ch cherry with the watermelon just goes perfectly together. It's like sweet and sour, but also you have the sprinkles on there. Usually they don't really have much flavor, but they give you a, a crunch that makes it... This is incredible. We waited almost an hour in line for this. No, we didn't. Half an hour? Yeah. <laughs> we waited a half an hour in line for this, and it's worth every minute we waited for. Yeah. That said, there was a lightning lane. Well, I, I got buy it. myself a spoon. Oh, I, you don't need a spoon. Nice. It's, it's all mine. Nice. Just a little, just a little taste. So I could have the butterfly? Sure. I, I never realized until now that we've needed a watermelon. Dolan. The flavors of the watermelon and the cherry mixed together is like epic. perfection. Perfection. I'll finish this, right? That's mine. That's like the one thing I wanted this entire. See, that's what love's about right there. Mm -hmm. So, this was Amazing Perfection Ordinary Adventure Star. But what is going on here? What is this? The whips are always hollow. I know. But what is this? What is going on here, Peter? You see how much could be there that's missing? <laughs> Just saying. This isn't our first Valentine's Day at Disneyland. If you want to see our visit from 2020, right before things got crazy, we'll put the video right over there. Or right over there. Right over Watch there. it. <laughs> it's going to be good. And we'd like to thank some of our Patreons. That includes the Miller family, the Traveling Tauntaun, Agent Cooper, and Bailey Riddle. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Happy Valentine's Day.